Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm gonna give you guys a recap in a new episode of Noragami Aragoto, which is on episode 11. I'm very sorry if this recap is up late due to the fact that I had other, due to the fact that my daily procedures <coughs> today has been complicated. But if anything else, let's just get started. Okay, at the beginning of the episode, we have to it that um, Yukine Hiyori is on the way to try to find Yato, and apparently they see a powerful vent vent up in the sky, you know, or some kind of aura like pillar, you know. But apparently they get they they get interrupted by Kugaha, which is to my surprise, cause I'm really ticked off to see what the heck he was trying to do, apparently. Not to mention of what he was trying to do is take Hiyori's hand to replace his own. Yukine comes in and tries to fight him off, but he seems stronger than before. But Later on, Kugaha ends up throwing these like nasty vibes towards Yukine and makes him doubt himself, you know? But with Hiyori's help, Yukine found his resolve and defeats Kugaha. And I'm thinking in my mind, dude, can't you kill him? Please, he needs to die. After seeing what he did like the first half of Norogami and seeing him what he's doing in this episode, makes me want to rip his throat apart, man. Not joking, my anger <laughs> on this guy he needs to die. Anyways, let's go. Bishamon, on the other hand, finds Abisu in time, you know? And he says, you guys gotta save Yato. He saved my life, you know? And Hiyori and Yukine shows up right on time as well. But apparently, we have to it that Hiyori can't enter the underworld. And Yukine wants, wants to enter there. But he needs to be a Nora, which is not gonna happen. So Bishamon, on the other hand, says, I'm gonna save your master instead, okay? So leave it to me. And therefore, we have to it that... um. I think the God of Misfortune, or Kofuku, along with her, um, along with Daikoko, opens a vent to the underworld, and Bishmon decides to go save Yato. Yato tries to find a way out, but apparently, but he gets dragged to the Inu Inuzami or whatever her name is, the Queen of the Underworld, that kind of thing. You guys get the cue, and apparently, we have to it that. Bishamon shows up and manages to try to save Yato, but Yato on the other hand is in trouble apparently, you know? You guys you guys know what's up, you guys watch the episode, those of you who read the manga, you will understand, etc. Blah blah blah. But apparently as for um as for Bishamon, she confesses to Yato that she hates him and loathes him just to keep moving forward, etc. So yeah, one of my friends did mention this in one of his reviews like many, many weeks ago, so Understandable now, Bishamon. Thank goodness you're at least honest with yourself for the time being. <laughs> Don't even know why I even said that. Anyways, um, ABC ends up giving a, a hint to Hiyori. Like, um, so you guys are worried about him that bad, huh? And therefore, we have to it that um, ABC tells Hiyori, like, there is a chance to save him. But you're going to require a human from the near shore. And so forth. Ends off there. Next episode, don't know what's gonna happen, but it's gonna get all crazy. I'm getting cra I'm getting crazy, crazy, crazy nuts and bolts right now after seeing that cliffhanger, dude. <laughs> Made me scream heck of badly. So, looking forward to next episode. Don't know what's gonna happen, but I hope to see some good vibes from it soon. So, if anything else, just gonna leave it at that, people. I'll see you guys in my next video. So, I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye bye.